Welcome guys to Grand Theft Auto. I've recently updated it and we are ready to play, ready to launch, but unfortunately check out what happens. As Social Club loads up on my computer, Grand Theft Auto will crash, causing Script Hook uh, to absolutely go berserk as we have Chain Gang AF signing in. And this was recently updated on the 15th of December. Today's the 17th uh, and Fortunately, script hook Alexander Blade has come through. Here we have the fatal error of the unknown game version. Uh, we can also go, would you like to check for a download page now? You can click yes. Supported versions, it's basically saying a critical error. Script hook v critical error fix solution. Let's get straight onto it. So we click yes and let's see what happens. Um, not a lot not a lot but you want to go over here to this uh, website the link will be in the description it's uh, devc.com forward slash G gta5 and then script hook 5 you're going to click download and let it download onto your computer now once you have downloaded this it is the newest release uh, version it's the 2016 15th of december very early and uh, very new indeed here is the file that you have downloaded. You want to go into the bin folder, and these three files are the saving grace for your Grand Theft Auto 5 modded version. You also want to go to your root directory of Grand Theft Auto 5, which can be located in your Steam folder. Uh, say, for example, we have it on my F drive. You go into Program Files, then through to Steam, and once we get to Steam, we want to go to Steam Apps, Common, and then find ourselves Grand Theft Auto 5 as we parade through our games that we have installed on this device. All you need to do is simply drag them and replace. And I'm telling you, this will be the saving grace. It cannot because another program is using it. Ooh, that's quite interesting. Let's go delete uh, Steam. And there we go. That's what we have to do. Waiting for Grand Theft Auto 5 to shut down. Okay, please exit Steam. There we go. And... Ooh, it's saying that it's running, which is, uh, please close Grand Theft Auto before exiting Steam. We don't have Grand Theft Auto 5 running. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Waiting for Grand Theft Auto to shut down. I think we're going to have to go control panel, uh, not control panel, but task manager. And there we go. We're going to have to eliminate this task because we actually ran the, uh, there we go. Now once this is done, we can open up the root directory again. Slam it in and replace. And we are ready to rumble. Here we go, we can close this and launch it through Steam. So we can now close this website and hopefully I will meet you in Grand Theft Auto. Let's go library, Grand Theft Auto and uh, play Grand Theft Auto 5. Thank you very much. And I guess this will be the stoppage of um, recording of my desktop and then I'll move on to Grand Theft Auto because that's how Shadow Play does it. We'll go launch normally and uh, I'll start recording back when we're in game or maybe when it loads up. I don't know, we'll see uh, what I can do around here. But this has been the desktop sort of um, display of what you need to do to get Grand Theft Auto modded running and uh, how to fix it which is uh, probably going to be a common problem people have uh, by now you should really be quite well versed in fixing this problem but nevertheless we should maybe stop recording i'm scared that i'll lose it all so hey presto i should have stopped recording a long time ago there we go we stopped that recording and now we can begin recording again so we may um it's actually loading. We're on a loading screen now. This is Grand Theft Auto. Loading story mode. I should get a nice visualization of uh, how long it takes to load up. So I think in Sony Vegas, the newest edition, uh, we're gonna have to, two files, two clips, slam them together. Beautiful stuff as we have Trevor and GTA Online. Something that I've been quite neglecting is GTA Online. I've barely played it. I remember when the first day it came out I was playing GTA Online and uh, I haven't really touched it since the opening month. 
I have not played it at all. I've been offline doing my own mods, uh, playing around, installing different cars and adaptations to the game, which uh, really is very fun. Would you believe it or not? Here we go. Uh, we go up and outside of good old Michael's house. No, not Michael, Franklin's house. Here we can have this, but uh, we don't have the updated versions of the vehicles. Although we can use this. This native trainer comes with the script hook, uh, so you know it's working, and it is loaded up, I should say, running 60 frames per second while recording at 1080p. This is a uh, goddamn miracle, I should say. Ooh, got Franklin, got Trevor, and we've got a chicken. Oh, we want Michael over here, uh, maybe Franklin. I hate how it does all these like, random designs of it, but what we want to go is uh, not out of it. We want to go to vehicles, spawners, and at the top here. Wow, this is the DLC, and there we go. This is the disappearing uh, DLC, which probably next video I'll produce uh, will be showing you how to get it up and running uh, so they don't disappear, because it is quite annoying, as you can see. You just want to hop in that car, and uh, nah, it takes it away. Well, it's a nice little Lamborghini one. Um, Mixed with a galad. Oh my god, look at this. This is going to be crazy um, to play with these vehicles. And it looks like they are continuing supporting uh, Grand Theft Auto, which is awesome. And that car just disappears. So that is another big issue that uh, we have a fix for, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, here's another car. Very awesome DLC. Oh, that was a big phantom. Yeah. Whoa. Absolutely amazing. It's mixed between like a Bugatti and Veyron. Damn. I'm liking this. Wow. And I think these still are DLC bikes. Maybe not. Oh, no, actually, they're not DLC bikes. This is a new car, though. New car. Ooh, quite a lot of our sports cars being implemented. Yeah, these are, wow, look at that. That is going to be crazy for, uh, I bet you can run around and smack cars on that. That was a nice little Aston Martin that went past, so we know that mods do work. So this is that dune, so I guess, ooh, there's an old Nissan Skyline. Oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, here, a new bike. This one's in the DLC range. Hop on the bike and it will disappear. There we go. Thank you very much. Quite annoying. This is quite a tease, actually. Um, looking at all these new cars. And here's a bike DLC. So, uh, ooh, a Comet. Look at that. Oh, Porsche. Wow. This, they, they must yeah, they must have added a uh, car derby or something. These cars are just next level. Wow, look at that. Nice little uh, Blazer ATV. And these are back onto the motorbike DLC. So, uh, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. As uh, we can use these ones. Oh, wow, we can't. What? Even those DLC ones. Uh, old DLC. Let me see if I can spawn some old DLC. Okay, that, that was, wasn't really old DLC. This one's old DLC. Wow. So... All the DLC gets uh, wiped off, or GTA Online cars uh, get wiped off in single player, which is uh, very annoying. So tune in next episode to check out how to fix that. As, uh, say for example, we'll spawn ourselves a uh, Rolls Royce to end the video. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we've got that Bentley over here, the unmarked cruiser. How awesome is that? Very awesome indeed. Uh, let's how about go into Coops, get ourselves uh, Windsor, look at that, the Royals Royce Dawn. So you can see my modded vehicles are working inside Grand Theft Auto. We have the Bentley, we have the Rolly. Yikes. Yikes. Tune in next episode to uh, see how we fix DLC cars or online cars to have in single player, which is uh, very awesome change the weather, you can do anything with these trainers, I'll be updating this trainer that I'm using right now, and hopefully it will have a whole lot of new features.
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been a video brought to you by iPod Mail in 2017. Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a like, comment, and fuck off. No, I'm sorry. Don't, don't do that. Keep watching my videos. No, no, no. I've already lost you all. I've already lost them all. I've already lost them all. Last mile. Ow. That hurt. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Porsche Panna Rara. Let's go. Snap this car. I love the god mode on this. Look at that. The curtain's up. The curtain's up on the Panamera. Wow. This is GTA 5 at its finest. Once again, recording at 60 frames per second, 1080p. Uploading it up to YouTube. The upload will probably take around about a uh, few hours, around about five hours to upload this 10 minute uh, file, which is doable, very doable as we hop out of my Porsche, jumping into the Mercedes. Red, blue, black, which one do you want to pick? I see a grey one over there. Spin it around, get the grey one. Your choice. Your choice. Let's, let's install the DLC cars now. I've had enough. I will really want to play with that derby. Actually, let's go look on the map, see if we can uh, find it somewhere. Ooh, just hit the microphone, that was not nice. Uh